People often ask me, even my students, ministerial students and just regular students that I have on a Tuesday night, people always ask me, how can I, how can I approach the Bible? What's the best way to approach the Bible? What's the best way to read it? How can I remember what's in the Bible? And I always tell them, there is a way to do that. And it's very simple. Read the stories of the Bible because it's one continuous story. If you get that one continuous story in your mind, you'll get the whole Hebrew Bible in your, in your head. For example, the first five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The stories in Genesis, Exodus, now there are some in Leviticus, but it's more rules and regulations. Numbers also have some stories, but it also has rules and regulations. And Deuteronomy is a repeat of the law. So the first five books of Moses, for the stories, you read Genesis and Exodus. And Leviticus has to do with the priesthood and some stories. And Numbers has to do with their travels in the desert, with also some more new rules. And the book of Deuteronomy is a repeat of all the laws and everything that Moses gave. If you can keep that in mind, you'll keep a panorama story form in your head. Then from there, we go to Joshua, and you can read the stories in there. And then you can go to Judges, and from Judges you have to read all those stories. And then the little book of Ruth, and then from Ruth, you go to First and Second Samuel and First and Second Kings. That's it. That's it. If you get those stories in your mind from Genesis to Second Kings, you've got it. Now, after Second Kings, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, after those books comes First and Second Chronicles. But the Chronicles is a repeat of what you read in Samuel, in the books of Samuel and in the books of Kings. So, that's not necessary. If you just go from Genesis to Second Kings, you'll get the history in your head, at least the biblical history. How much of it is actual history is not my concern here. My concern is that you see the flow of stories and the flow of the narratives that are in that panoramic view that I just gave you. If you get that, in your mind, especially in the book of First and Second Kings, if you get those books in your mind, when you read the prophets, you'll find that the prophets were alive during that time when you were reading the book of First and Second Kings. So that what they have to say has to do with the history that they were involved in. So you can get a good grasp of the entire Bible just through the panoramic view of understanding it from Genesis to Second Kings. So this is what I always tell my students. If, and read it like a novel. Don't read it like a holy book. Because if you attempt to read it like a holy book, you will put uh, another twist on it which won't stick in your mind. If you read it like a novel, which it is, from Genesis to Second Kings, if you read it like a novel, you'll remember the stories better. You'll remember what you're reading. Because, th because that is the panoramic view of the whole novel of the Bible. You have the Bible summed up right there. Now we're talking about the Old Testament. The New Testament is something different with Jesus and then, of course, the Acts of the Apostles, which is like a novel, the, the book of Acts. And then you have the epistles, which deal with, which we changed it. We made it doctrinal. We made it dogmatic when we teach the letters of Paul, which kind of ruins the flow of the Bible. But right now, I'm interested in that you grasp the Old Testament. And this is how I tell my students to look at it. If they look at it like a novel, then they'll grasp it much better and much easier.